Hey everyone. I wanted to address a couple things real quick regarding readers, which I don't even know why exactly other than maybe spirit is telling me it needs to be addressed. It's just picking at me. Um, one of the things is why are, why do the messages tend to be repetitive? Um, I have gotten a couple comments that have said stuff like, and they weren't even talking about me specifically, just readings in general, um, from other readers too, saying it's been said, it's been the same thing for X amount of time, blah, blah, blah. So one reason why, um, why the readings can seem repetitive is because it just depends on who the collective of people that the reader is drawing in, or you should really say that whose spirit is guiding to them and where they're at. But not only that, like, just think of it this way. Like there's multiple waves of twin flames. So for one thing, it's what that group needs to hear. For another thing, there's multiple waves of twin flames and they're all going through the same thing, but at different times. Now it might not be a hundred percent exact same, you know, different details of the circumstances may be different, but there are overall themes of the twin flame journey that are pretty much the same across the board. And I see many, many twins that have significant um, similarities in their, in their stories, but also in their like personality traits, like the masculines tend to have the same wounds and stuff like that. And it seems like that is, um, uh, a commonality across the board that for whatever reason, um, it, it must be that spirit tends to have the divine masculines and the divine feminines go through those specific woundings and, and, um, situ karmic situations to overcome. So with that being said, first wave to seventh wave, there are seven waves altogether. First wave to seventh wave, they're all going through generally the same things just at different times and over different periods of time, like the first wave is much longer, the seventh wave will probably be the shortest, that type of thing. But so a lot of the reason why you see repetitive messages is because the circumstances aren't really that different, except that it's where each person is at in their journey. I believe I, I primarily um, channel for the first wave because I'm first wave. And it's not my choice, it's just what spirit tends to give me, although spirit has given me other waves as well, but it also depends on who's being drawn to me, on what spirit is going to say for them. So just there's one thing to keep in mind. I'm gonna do one more video to elaborate a little bit more on this. Um, hold that thought. The other thing I wanted to say about this and why the messages tend to be repetitive across the board with all readers is um, it's also because the twin flame journey is a long journey. Like <laughs> I was going to say a long ass journey, but I censored myself at the last second. Um, it's years. It takes years. Okay. Like mine has been eight years. I am like right here on the cusp of union. Like, I mean, and I have the 3d validation of that as well. We have been in the reunion phase for over a year and I have the 3D validation that he is ready to move forward. It's just been logistical stuff externally that he's been dealing with. But like I said, for me, it's been eight years and I'm first wave. And I know other first wavers who are over 10 years. Um, but generally speaking, I, even though I believe the more recent waves don't have to go as long as the first wave, which is the forerunners, um, paving the way for everybody else. <laughs> um, it's still a years long process. You don't achieve that level of healing and transformation overnight. It, it legit takes years. And, you know, so one thing, one reason is that you're going to have those repetitive messages because it just takes time. Like there's just no way around it. I have literally seen, and this was, <laughs> this is going back some time as well before I, would have started calling myself like an expert or a coach or anything like that. But I have seen literally for an entire year straight, the same message of the divine masculine wants to communicate, but he wasn't yet ready to communicate. And then probably another six months of being ready to communicate before actual communication is coming through. Like they, the, the divine masculines tend to overthink and they take a very long time in that process. Like I can tell you mine, Mine took like three months to figure out what he wanted to say before, and he still hasn't said it yet, <laughs> but that's because of been, that has been because of external stuff, not because of, um, him not being ready. 
Um, I've gotten other 3D <laughs> validation, uh, so fine. But anyway, I don't want to talk about me. I don't have that much time in three minutes. <laughs> Point being, it literally takes months and years, and that is why the messages tend to be repetitive. And the Divine Feminine thinks nothing's changing, but it is changing. It's changing internally for the masculines, and it's changing internally for the feminines. It just takes time for it to happen in the 3D reality that you can see and witness and see as evidence, okay? Um, also, spirit tells you what you need to hear when you need to hear it to help you persevere through the journey. And they give you that reassurance to keep pushing through and doing the work, even if it's gonna take some time. So that's some. those are just realities that we have to accept, to be honest. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. 